What's going on, Grasses Federal Way? It is Monday, and we are kicking off the week with our heavy week, that, or a heavy day, heavy week. Uh, who knows? We'll see what the week brings. But anyway, heavy day today. So today is all about the snatch. It's going to be working to establish a one rep max today, so majority of our class will be spent working on that, just going heavy with ideally, well, honestly, the hardest Olympic lift. So uh, when we get done with that, there is a little bit of accessory work. We're gonna do three sets of six of the SOTS press, which I will go over. That is in a squat position from behind the neck, pressing that bar up. It is a strict press, um, a very difficult movement, so don't be surprised if that weight, even if you go heavy, that weight is not necessarily going to be a whole lot of weight. Um, and then we're gonna do 10 singles of a snatch balance. This can be either a heaving snatch balance or a traditional snatch balance, snatch balance, and you can take that from the rack. But the idea there is it's gonna be ascending weight. So trying to work up to whatever your heaviest snatch balance is after doing your one rep max snatch as well too. So um, let's talk a little bit about our standards. Um, and without going too deep into the snatch, we are uh, the biggest thing, and it's probably best to film a snatch from the side a little bit because there's not, you can't tell a lot going on from the front. Anyway, um, so while we could talk about all the little nuances of how a snatch should be done, I don't want to overcomplicate things. All I want you focusing on today, try to think about jump and punch. So a big jump to generate that vertical momentum on the bar and then punching up aggressively to receive the bar in that um, squat or in the bottom of that squat. So um, again, Wide grip on the barbell. All I'm really thinking about is jump and punch. Forgive me if this doesn't look like the snappiest of snatches. My left knee's still bugging me a little bit, so I'm a little cognizant of just dropping into a squat. Uh, but big aggressive jump, big aggressive punch up, and then stand it all the way back up. I know you guys know what a snatch is and all of that sort of stuff. And again, today we'll be all about going heavy, but then when we get to our accessory work, that's where some of this might be. A little bit of a review may possibly be new for you as well. So um, let's take that bar over to the rack and then we will work on the soft press and the snatch balance. And as I mentioned before, probably going to be lighter. In fact, probably much lighter than you think with your soft press. So I'm gonna lighten this a little bit just because unwarmed up shoulders, I probably won't even saw express 95 times. And I'll do this one facing out from the rack just so you guys can see me better. So I'm going to place my hands as though it's the same grip as the snatch. Get that bar in, in the same place where I would normally do a high bar back squat. That's gonna encourage my chest to stay up in the bottom. I'm gonna squat down, and from this position here, it's a strict press overhead. So I've got three sets of six, that behind the neck sots press. When you, if you feel like you're gonna bail it, just bail it forward. Super easy to get out from under. Don't try to bail it backwards. Just, it's just a bad habit to be in. Um, so that's our sots press. Strict behind the neck press with that snatch grip on the barbell. And again, very deceptively difficult movement, um, followed by a snatch balance. So the snatch balance, again, heaving or traditional. Traditional snatch balance, there is no jump involved in getting that bar off your shoulders. You're gonna just fall under the bar and punch up. If you wanna do it that way, and what I encourage you to do is try to do your snatch balance without a jump, so without that heave off the shoulders, um, as long as you can, when it gets a little heavier, turning it into a heaving snatch balance is fine. Why we do this movement is it drills the receiving position of the snatch. We don't have to then worry about that bar being in the right place when we get into the bottom of the squat. It's already there because we're just jumping it off our shoulders and it should be in a good position. So this will teach us to get under the bar, teach us to receive the bar better, so again, wide grip on the bar. I'm gonna unrack the bar. And then really without, again, a traditional snatch balance, I'm not gonna jump it off my shoulders. I'm gonna think about just falling underneath and then standing back up. Well, that heaving snatch balance, 
I'm gonna give it a little bit of a jump and getting under and then coming right back up to the top. So, big things I'm thinking, I wanna be fast under the bar on that snatch balance. It's all about speed under there. Now this was light enough that I didn't have to think about it that much, but trust me, when it gets heavier, you gotta be quick. You gotta be ready. Again, think about bailing forward if I need to bail, to try not to bail back behind you because we don't have any real momentum going into that. So there's far, far more, you're far more likely to bail a snatch balance and have it hit you on the way down. If you go backwards rather than forward, it's easier to do that more naturally. Um, so that's kind of what we're getting ourselves into for Monday. Again, most of our class today will be spent going heavy, just like with any heavy day, guys, when things do get heavy and you're tired and you're kind of pushing your limits and maybe we're nowhere near where we were before quarantine, um, or maybe we start to get approach a PR, give yourself ample rest between those attempts. Two to three minutes at least. Um, don't rush it. Don't give yourself 30 seconds rest and then try to hit a weight you've never hit before. Chances are your body won't be as ready as you think it will. So, um, yep, yeah, that's what we're getting into for Monday. Today, again, being our heavy day. I know after uh, Friday's workout and Saturday's workout, people are gonna be real sore anyway. So we're gonna spend plenty of time warming up and getting our body primed and ready for this. So can't wait to see you guys in the gym. It's gonna be a good one. Heavy days are always a good time. So with that, it's Monday, it's a snatch day. Let's get after it. <laughs>